Most of the demos today were about running things in Kubernetes. Um, most demos were using images from the public Docker Hub, which was great. But once you start de developing your real applications, you don't want a public image on Docker Hub, right? You want to have your private image with your private IP secured. Uh, now there's a couple options. You can run your own registry, or you can pay Docker or other companies like Quay for hosting it. Um, but of course, when you do that, you're relying on their service, on their cloud provider of choice. And so we think with Google, with like the, the whole plan of having Google be the best place to run these things, we can do better. And so we launched this thing called Google Container Registry uh, last month in beta. And it is a Google hosted service that's using the same infrastructure as Gmail and Search and YouTube to provide you a highly reliable, uh, high throughput service to host your Docker images. And what we do is, once you upload your Docker images to our registry, we store them in your Google Cloud storage. So they're in your project, they're in your visibility. Um, they're using the Google Cloud security model, so OAuth and different scopes uh, using role models. And so um, we think we give you a much more secure, reliable service. So I'm going to demo how you could use this. So I have this small application here. It's just a hello web server written in Go that I've built, and now I'm going to do a Docker build. Um, so the, the thing that you notice here, that when I name this image, um, I prefix it with gcr.io. Um, that's the endpoint of our registry. Um, we made it as short as possible because like, we know that you're going to type this frequently. Um, so same thing as if you were doing a normal Docker build. Um, the thing that I'm going to do slightly different than normal is I'm going to type, when I'm doing a Docker push, I'm start, instead of doing just a raw Docker push, I'm going to do a gcloud preview Docker push. And, and the reason I do this is that, as I said, we use OAuth for authentication. We don't want to use basic username and password because we don't want these username and passwords on your production machines. Um, so what this does, it takes an OAuth access token, it puts it in your Docker config, and then it passes through to Docker as normal. So this is uh, uploading my image to a Google Container Registry. <laughs> and bear with me, I'm, the Wi-Fi is obviously in use for a lot of people right now. OK, so it uploaded my image. And if I now go to my Google Cloud Console, and I look at the storage browser, and I do a refresh, You see that we created this magic bucket called artifacts and then your project name is avspo.com. This is where we uploaded all your containers and it's fully under your control. You can take it out, you can delete it. Like after this upload, Google doesn't have access to it. It's actually encrypted in Google Cloud Storage and the only one who has access to it is people on your project. Um, so now it's uploaded, it's in Google Cloud and I wanna use it with, let's say, Kubernetes. Um, I'm lazy, I don't wanna set up Kubernetes clusters myself. So I used Google Container Engine, and so I'm gonna show you, uh, I already spun up this container engine, it's running here. Um, it's a very small cluster, I only added one node. Um, but the thing I wanted to point out here is that if you look at what permissions this cluster has, for storage it only has read-only access. Uh, and so that means that even if somebody were to accidentally or like hack into my production service, they only have access to my registry in read-only mode. So they cannot mess up my images that I have stored. Um, okay, so let's deploy this application to that cluster. Um, so if I look in my, um, my JSON config for the pod, you'll see that I do the same thing, I prefix gcr.io, um, and the rest is just the same as if I were pulling from the public Docker Hub. So let's create this. Um, and because I'm using the, uh, the hosted version container engine and I haven't switched to kubectl uh, either yet, I use the uh, gcloud preview command to start this container. It warns me that it's deprecated. Um, okay, so now it's spun up and I can actually go to the endpoint. I can see that it's running. Um, as you notice, I didn't put any username or password for accessing my private registry. Um, the way that it works is we actually contributed code to the open source Kubernetes that will interact with Google's OAuth authentication provider. It gets an access token from the metadata server and uses that to authenticate. Um, and so 
if I even if I log into my Kubernetes cluster and I were to try to do a, a Docker push, it would give me it would deny me access. And so we think this will give a much more secure environment for hosting your images. Um, so the Google Container Registry is currently in beta. Um, we only start charge you for the raw GCS storage cost and networking egress cost. Uh, so that means that if you're running on Google Cloud, downloading images is free. You're only paying for the storage on, on the Google Cloud storage. Um, we're working on management APIs, UI, and we hope to be uh, generally availability later this year. Um, that's all I had. Thank you.